Introduction Mama, look, there are mangoes. Please buy some for me. Oh, it costs 52 rupees and 50 pesa per kg. Sure, dear, I will buy 2 kilograms of mangoes for you. Dear, can you tell me how much I need to pay for 2 kilograms? Sure, Mama. It's 52.50 plus 52.50. Oh, I can also find out by multiplying 52.50 by 2. Hmm, but how shall I add or multiply these numbers? These are decimal numbers. Friends, can you help Sonia in finding the total amount? Come, let us seek the answers of such questions in the module Decimals. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Compare decimal numbers, add and subtract decimal numbers, multiply and divide decimal numbers. Solve the word problems based on decimal numbers. Decimal numbers. Friends, look at this number having decimal point. As we move further left of this number, every number place gets 10 times bigger. As we move further right, every number place gets 10 times smaller. The given number can be written in the expanded form as 1 multiplied by 10 plus 8 multiplied by 1 plus 4 multiplied by 1 tenth plus 5 into 1 hundredth plus 2 multiplied by 1 thousandth. Similarly, if we know the place values of each digit in a decimal number, we can write the number. Comparison of decimal numbers. Sahil scored 91.25% of marks in his final exams, while his friend Rohit scored 91.75%. Friends, can you find out who scored more among the two? First, we compare the digits on the left of the decimal point, starting from the leftmost digit. Here, the digits 9 and 1 are same. Thus, we compare the digits on the right of the decimal point, starting from the tenths place. We find that 7 is greater than 2. This concludes that 91.75 is greater than 91.25. Thus, Rohit scored more than Sahil in the final exams. Students remember, while comparing two decimal numbers, if the digits at the tenths place are also same, then we need to compare the digits at the hundredths place and so on. Addition and subtraction of decimal numbers. Rohan was 124.8 centimeters when he was in class 3. How taller is he now if his height increases by 22.2 centimeters? The height of Rohan is equal to 124.8 centimeters plus 22.2 centimeters. Remember, while adding the numbers, the decimal point of another number lies exactly below that of first number. We add first of the digits at the right side of the decimal, followed by the addition of digits on the left side. The sum of 8 and 2 gives 10. We write 0 at the bottom and 1 as a carryover on 4. The sum of 1, 4 and 2 gives 7 and 2 and 2 gives 4. Thus, the height of Rohan is 147.0 centimeters. Similarly, we can subtract one decimal number from another. Here we subtract first digits at the right side of the decimal followed by those at the left side. Multiplication of decimal numbers. Let us learn the multiplication of two decimal numbers like 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. First, the decimal numbers are multiplied as whole numbers ignoring the decimal point. Then the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the decimal numbers is added. Finally, the decimal point is placed in the answer by starting at the right and moving a number of places equal to the sum of the decimal places in both numbers multiplied. Let us find now the product of 1.25 and 3.4. These are first multiplied as whole numbers that gives 4,250. There are total three digits on the right side of the decimal points in the given decimal numbers. 
Counting three digits from the rightmost digit in the number, the decimal point is placed before two. Thus, we get 4.250 as the answer. We will practice a word problem based on the multiplication of decimal numbers. The cost of one kilogram mangoes is equal to 52 rupees 50 paisa. The cost of two kg mangoes is equal to 52.50 multiplied by 2 rupees. Multiplying the numbers, we get 10,500. Adding decimal point after two digits from the right side, we get 105. Thus, Sonia's mother needs to pay 105 rupees for 2 kg mangoes. Multiplication by 10, 100, 1000. What happens when a decimal number is multiplied by 10, 100 or say 1000? Come, let us find out. When we multiply 1.22 by 10, we get 12.20. What do we get when 1.22 is multiplied by 100 and 1000? We get 122 and 1220 respectively. We observe that when a decimal number is multiplied by 10, the decimal point shifts to the right by one place. However, the digits remain same as in decimal number. Similarly, if a decimal number is multiplied by 100 and 1000, the decimal point shifts to the right by two and three places respectively. Division by ten, hundred, thousand. After multiplication, let us learn the division of decimal numbers by ten, hundred, and say thousand. Let us find the answer for 41.3 divided by ten. We know that 41.3 means 413 divided by ten. Thus, 41.3 divided by 10 is equal to 413 upon 10 multiplied by 1 upon 10. This gives 413 upon 100, which is equal to 4.13. Similarly, when we divide 41.3 by 100 and 1000, we get 0 0.413 and 0 0.0413 respectively. Thus, we can say that when a decimal number is divided by 10, 100, and 1000, the decimal point in the quotient shifts to the left by 1, 2, and 3 places respectively. Division by a whole number. How will you divide a decimal number, 6.9 by a whole number, say 3? Such numbers can be divided by two methods. Method 1. Write 6.9 as 69 upon 10. Thus, we'll get 69 upon 10 multiplied by 1 upon 3. This can be written as 1 upon 10 multiplied by 69 upon 3. On simplifying this, we get 1 upon 10 multiplied by 23, which is equal to 23 upon 10, and at last 2.3. Let us learn the second method in which the decimal number is considered as whole number and is divided by 3. We get 23. Since there is one digit to the right of the decimal point in 6.9, we place the decimal in 23 such that there would be one digit to its right. We get 2.3 again. Division by another decimal number. Let us learn the division of one decimal number by another decimal number. 15.5 can be written as 155 upon 10. Similarly, 0 0.5 can be written as 5 upon 10. We get 155 upon 10 multiplied by 10 upon 5. On simplifying this, we get 155 upon 5, which is equal to 31. We observe that the decimal place was shifted to the right in 15.5 to make it 155. So, there was a shift in one decimal point to the right in 0 0.5 also to make it 5. Thus, we can write 15.5 divided by 0 0.5 as 155 divided by 5, which gives 31 as the answer. Let us practice a question based on this. Rehana's school bus covers a distance of 79.8 km in 2.1 hours. How much distance does it cover in one hour? 
We know that the distance covered by bus in 2.1 hours is 79.8 kilometers. So the distance covered by bus in 1 hour will be equal to 79.8 divided by 2.1. It can be written as 798 divided by 21 which give 38 kilometers. Hence Rehana school bus covers a distance of 38 kilometers in 1 hour. Self-assessment. Drag the numbers from the option box and drop them into the appropriate blank boxes. Self-assessment. Match the following by dragging the buttons to the appropriate options. Summary. Let us summarize what we have learned. In the addition or subtraction of decimal numbers, the decimal point of another number lies exactly below that of first number and the digits at the right side of the decimal are added or subtracted first, followed by the addition or subtraction of digits on the left side. While multiplying two decimal numbers, first the decimal numbers are multiplied as whole numbers, ignoring the decimal point. Then the decimal point is placed in the answer by starting at the right and moving a number of places equal to the sum of the decimal places in both numbers multiplied. While multiplying a decimal number by 10, 100 or 1000, the decimal point in the number is moved to the right by as many places as there are zeros over 1. In division of a decimal number by a whole number, first the numbers are divided as whole numbers followed by placing the decimal point in the quotient as in the decimal number. In division of a decimal number by 10, 100 or 1000, the digits in the decimal number are shifted to the left by as many places as there are zeros over 1 to get the quotient.